everybody in advanced strength and conditioning. Uh, we are not going to have a, a video from inside. Uh, it's just too nice outside. And uh, I'm posting this thing kind of late. I just wanted to make sure that uh, uh, the temperature was going to rise just enough so we can, I can ask you to do something outside today. Um, and I'm going to try and stand in the, in the sun so we don't blind you here. But uh, um, what I'm asking you to do today um, is a 30-minute run slash walk outside. Very simple, but, but you know, maybe a lot of us haven't been outside doing this kind of exercise in quite a while. So uh, you know, we might be doing those, those videos from, from the weight room. Um, and so getting outside and, and being able to, to run and walk, maybe we haven't done that for a while. So I'm asking you to go outside for 30 minutes. Um, and I'm asking you to run as long as you can uh, for that 30 minutes. So if you can run the whole 30 minutes, run the whole dang 30 minutes. Uh, if you can run for 25 of those 30 or 20 of those 30, then maybe it's more of like a, um, you know, five on, five off, five on, five off uh, kind of scenario. Basically, everybody's different. Uh, everybody's cardio level is different at this point in time. Uh, so I'm not going to be very specific as far as, um, you know, setting up a, a drawing line in the sand saying, hey, let's go run for exactly 30 minutes without stopping. Uh, that wouldn't be realistic. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to say, you know, go out and, and walk half the time. And you might not, that might not be pushing some, uh, some people in this group. So um, you are going to have to layer up, you know, and uh, maybe put an earbud or two in and, and listen to some good tunes. Uh, but that's what I'd like you to do today for, for, for our PE class today. Uh, again, it's just a beautiful January day. And, and I think being outside would be uh, a really, really good thing. If you can't be outside, uh, maybe you're going to do your asynchronous PE at night, maybe after dinner, um, you know, it's dark outside, um, then I've, I'm going to have to refer back to Monday's uh, workout. And so if you go back to Monday's workout, we've had enough time to, for those specific muscles to recover. Um, and so you, you should be fine there. You're not overtraining anything if we went back to, to Monday. Um, another thing that you could do for PE today, uh, if there's, uh, you know, groups of kids in your neighborhood that's playing a pickup game or, or basketball, soccer, you know, touch football or what have you, uh, you guys can, that, that's another opportunity, that's another thing that you could do in replace of uh, going for your 30 minute uh, run slash walk. Uh, if you're playing, you know, ball with your siblings or something like that, uh, that's okay too. So I just think get, going, getting outside today, uh, you know, when we have days like this where the temperature's up, we're in the mid to upper 40s, uh, it's not raining. A little, little breezy from time to time, but we'll be all right. Um, get outside, get, get going, and, and uh, have some fun. We'll have our, our weekly Google Meet will be next Monday, uh, either at 12, 30, 1 o'clock. I know there's some, we might uh, have some announcements as far as changing that time now that we're in, in, in person and you know, we're hybrid learning. So, uh, you know, half of you might be at school. So, so those 12, 30, 1 o'clock meet times uh, might not work out for you. So we'll do our best to kind of make that part of our, our class work. Uh, but also to our semesters ending soon, make sure you kind of check your Skyward grade, kind of go backwards if you need to, and look at any weekly logs. Uh, if you need any extra uh, you know, help or, or, or you know, points or wondering about stuff, uh, shoot me an email, holler, show up to office hours, whatever you need, and you can kind of make that work too. But, uh, enjoy the sun, enjoy the day, and we'll probably do the same tomorrow and maybe on Friday as well.